Number 10. We have Sergei Karadinov versus Daniel Gita at the K1 World GP 2009 Finals. Daniel entered this fight with a reputation for being a powerful striker, but it was his leg kicks that ultimately proved to be the difference. In the first round, Daniel began targeting Sergei's lead leg with a series of precise and powerful leg kicks. These kicks not only caused significant damage to Sergei's leg, but also slowed down his movement and hindered his ability to effectively defend himself. And in the third round, Daniel was able to capitalize on this advantage and set up the knockout blow with a powerful kick to the left thigh. Number 9. We have Douglas Lima vs. Rick Hahn fighting at the Bellator MMA 117. Rick is known for his strong judo background and was expected to try and take Douglas to the ground in this fight. However, Douglas had other plans and utilized leg kicks to great effect, consistently targeting Rick's lead leg and hindering his ability to close the distance and take the fight to the ground. The fight remained standing for the majority of the bout, and Douglas was able to control the pace and distance with precise and powerful leg kicks, constantly toppling Rick to the ground multiple times throughout the fight. In the second round, Douglas landed a perfectly placed leg kick that sent Rick crashing to the ground, finishing the fight and securing the knockout victory. Number 8 we have Edson Barboza vs. Rafaelo Oliveira at UFC 162. This fight was expected to be a striker's delight, with both fighters known for their powerful and precise striking techniques. It was Rafaelo's leg kicks that stole the show. From the first round, Rafaelo landed perfectly placed leg kicks over and over again making Edson scramble to get his footing. The kicks were so powerful and perfectly timed that it ended the fight and left Edson crashing to the mat in agony. Rafaelo walked away with the win and solidified his place on this list. Number 7 At number 7, we have Andy Hug vs. Mike Bernardo at the K1 GP 1996 final. This fight was a back-and-forth battle, with both fighters landing some heavy shots and showing off their skills. It was Andy's leg kicks that proved to be the deciding factor. Throughout the bout, Andy used leg kicks to wear down and weaken Mike's lead leg, hindering his movement and ability to effectively mount an offense. In the second round, Andy landed a perfectly placed back spinning heel kick that landed right on the tender spot on the thigh of Mike causing him to crash to the ground, finishing the fight and securing the win for Andy. Number 6 we have Ricard Nordstrand vs. Patrick Berry at K1 World Grand Prix 2007. In this matchup, Patrick utilized a diverse array of leg kicks to keep Ricard on the defensive. Throughout the fight, Patrick mixed up the placement and power of his leg kicks, making it difficult for Ricard to anticipate and defend against them. This fight was a true showcase of the power of leg kicks, as Patrick used them to great effect to wear down and tire Ricard, making him wobble multiple times throughout the bout. In the second round, Patrick landed a perfectly placed leg kick that sent Ricard crashing to the ground, finishing the fight and winning by a long count. Number 5. We have Ernesto Hust vs. Igor Vovchanchin at K1 Dreams 1999. This was a highly anticipated matchup between two of the top contenders in their division. Seconds into the first round, Ernesto scored a leg kick which set the tone for the rest of the bout. Ernesto was able to control the pace and distance with his kicks, constantly keeping Igor on his toes. The fight was an absolute clinic in the use of leg kicks, as Ernesto expertly targeted Igor's lead leg and effectively took away his movement and ability to strike. Ernesto used leg kicks as the key part of his game plan, consistently targeting Igor's lead leg and causing significant damage. In the final round, Ernesto's effective leg kicks had severely weakened Igor's leg and ultimately leading to Ernesto winning the match. Number 4. We have Justin Gaethje vs. Brian Foster at the World Series of Fighting for the lightweight championship belt. From the opening bill, Justin began targeting Brian's lead leg with precise and powerful leg kicks. These kicks not only caused significant damage to Brian's leg, 
but also slowed down his movement, hindering his ability to mount an effective offense. In under two minutes in the first round, Justin landed the fight-ending leg kick, finishing the fight with a brutal kick to the knee. Number 3. We have Juicier Formiga vs. Alex Perez at the UFC 250. This was a highly anticipated matchup, with two veterans squaring up for the first time. The fight went as expected, Alex's relentless leg kicks pummeled Juicier's lead leg, causing him to buckle many times in the bout, which ultimately sealed the deal. Alex consistently targeted Juicier's lead leg, causing significant damage and hindering his movement. The fight ended with a KO victory for Alex, thanks in large part to those brutal leg kicks. Number 2. At the event K1 World Grand Prix 2003 in Fukuoka, featured the highly anticipated clash between Alexei Ignashov and Jan Norch. Jan was nicknamed the Giant and stood at a whopping 6 foot 10. The fight proved to be a closely contested match, but in the end, it was Alexei's expert execution of leg kicks that secured the victory. Alexei strategically targeted Jan's lead leg, delivering precise and powerful strikes that gradually weakened Jan and sapped him of vital energy. A front outside kick to the upper left thigh was enough to fill the giant, securing the win for Alexei and adding a glorious victory to his record. Number 1. We have Jose Aldo vs. Uriah Faber at the World Extreme Cage Fighting in 2010. The final matchup on the card pitted two of the top strikers in the sport, facing each other for the featherweight title. Both fighters had impressive records, with Faber known for his precision and technical striking, and Aldo for his raw power and knockout ability. From the opening bell, it was clear that this was going to be a closely contested battle. Faber came out strong, looking to impose his will and finish the fight early with his high kicks. Aldo was able to weather the storm and began to take control of the fight with his precise and accurate strikes. One of the key factors that helped Aldo gain an edge in the fight was his effective use of leg kicks. Aldo expertly targeted Faber's legs with powerful and accurate strikes, causing significant bruising and slowing his movement. As the fight progressed, Faber's mobility was greatly hindered, and it became increasingly difficult for him to mount any kind of sustained offense. Aldo demonstrated a high level of technical proficiency in all aspects of leg kick abilities. He effectively utilized a wide array of kicks, which kept Faber on the defensive and prevented him from launching any serious counterattacks. By the final bell, it was clear that Aldo had put in a dominant performance. The judge's unanimous decision reflected his control of the fight, and he was awarded the victory thanks to his effective use of leg kicks and technical striking abilities. It was a showcase of just how effective and efficient leg kicks can be in a fight, and solidified Aldo's position as number one in my list of most brutal leg kick domination KO fights. Comment below which fight you think should have been in the number one spot. Like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.